Hosanna to the name of the Most High God. The Lord bless you. The face of the Lord shine upon you. This is your brother Bernard. I welcome you to another edition of our daily devotion. Let's see the book of Psalm 103 and verse 20. Psalm 103 and verse 20. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word. Hidden the voice of his word. How to activate your angels? Simple from this scripture. The angels of God are only moved when the word of God is spoken. So if you are not speaking the word of God, your angels become dormant. They will hang around you, but they are inactive because you have not spoken the word of God. A prayerless believer will always have inactivated angels hanging around. But any believer that is prayerful always activates the angels because by praying, you are producing back the word of God. It is written. Now, when we look at the book of Hebrews, chapter 1 and verse 14, the Bible says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent to minister to those who have inherited salvation? Now, the word minister is born out of the word servanthood, to be of service, to render service. And a servant does not have the autonomy or the power or authority of its own. He only listens to what the master says. So by interpretation, angels are our servants and they only do what we ask them to do. Failure to speak the word of God leave them also in a place of isolation, idleness. Some of us have mighty angels that are supposed to work with us, but they cannot work because we are not speaking the word of God. When you are prayerful, there is an activity going on. The angels take the petition and bring back the answers. That is what happened. So it's very simple to activate your angel. Stop complaining because at this point, the angels are not acting upon anything. But when you start producing the word of God, they will start acting. I am the head and not the tail. They put a stamp. This is the word of the Lord for today. I remain your brother Bernard. I see you soon as the Lord lives. Put your angels to work. Activate your angels. Stay under the canopy of God's grace and His mercy. Shalom.